the U.S. lawmakers that may step up calls for tariffs on China after the Chinese premier yes, yesterday at the end of the National People's Congress said that the yuan is not undervalued. Well, then... We oppose countries engaging in mutual finger-pointing or taking strong measures to force other nations to appreciate their currencies because it is not good for renminbi exchange rate reform. And here you go. Let's get more on this tip-for-tap battle, Paul. And I guess uh, President Obama started it all off when he said China should move to a more market-oriented currency. And then, you know, here Premier Wen saying it's not undervalued. Yeah, that's right. I mean, we have to remember, of course, the NBC is, is a platform to, uh, uh, to preach to the Chinese people, if you like. We had the comments about containment as well only a couple of days ago. So... Strong words, basically. But the bottom line is, uh, Premier Wen is saying the yuan will be kept basically stable as we come out of this financial crisis. What does stable mean? We'll take a look. Stable means pretty stable, I've got to say. The yuan peaking back in July 2008 after that appreciation. And since then, it is virtually flat. Now, what does this mean? Well, uh, for one, uh, Princeton University Paul Krugman says... The global economy would have grown by one and a half percentage points faster if China hadn't been containing its currency. And that means lawmakers may have to step in with more protection. If there is no ability to get anything without bringing out the baseball bat, then you do talk about, uh, about uh, temporary uh, across-the-board tariffs on, on imports from China. It is, you know, this is, there comes a point when you have to say, without a credible threat, we're not going to get anywhere in negotiations. So the baseball bat may be brought out by people like Senator Charles Schumer who have been calling for, for more uh, import tariffs. Take a look at this chart, though, see what the market has been thinking. There was a, a moderate increase in bets. These are non-deliverable forwards, a measure of whether the yuan will strengthen. A moderate increase in bets, but basically investors at the moment looking for a revaluation of about 3% mm -hmm. over the next 12 months. Not much at all. So they're probably not going to be hugely surprised by Wen's comments. Yeah, does Paul Krugman understand that when you bring out the baseball bats that China doesn't really respond. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, and, I have no idea what you're talking about. Yeah. No, maybe. Works with Japan, uh, <laughs> but not... Uh... Not, not baseball, no. Okay, let me ask you about the currency because, uh, you know, we did have President Obama saying it should be moved towards a more market-oriented currency. But then, you know, the, the deputy governor of the Central Bank in China, Suning, immediately came out and said, do not politicize the currency. Let's not get into that. Well, yeah, because that can lead to problems. I mean, if China needs, for economic reasons, to strengthen its currency, to rebalance from exports to uh, leg growth, to domestic leg growth, and to ease inflation pressures, well, you can't be held back from doing that just because of politics. So it's an issue when you get into to that realm. But th there's no doubt the UN is a political topic right now. Yeah, and one more thing, of course, the U.S. Treasury in April does have to come up with a, a report on whether or not it wants to actually, uh, I guess, label China as a currency manipulator. We've heard Tim Geithner say that before. He backtracked off that right. pretty quickly. But uh, does it even help? Well, it's an option. Uh, but uh, under U.S. law, it requires you to start talking to the country you label as a currency manipulator about about freeing that currency. Well, those talks have already been underway for a long time with China. So it doesn't help policy. Uh, it may help, uh, the rhetoric may help push China or may have the opposite effect, mm. as you say. I think that's a, that's a doubtful one. We'll see how mm. that all plays out. Okay, Paul, thank you for that. Paul Gordon with a look at the uh, Chinese currency.